From birds, lizards and bats to monkey-faced orchids, here are 20 unusual plants that look like animals. Number 20. Parrot Flower Its seeds were discovered in Southeast Asia in 1899 and flowered one year later. These plants grow wild in small areas of Thailand, Burma and Northeast India. When viewed from the sides, the blooms are parrot-shaped, although it was first described as a flying cockatoo. It has become a rare species largely because Thailand has prohibited its exportation. Because of that, counterfeit seeds are often sold. Number 19. Red Butterfly Wing In addition to looking like a swarm of butterflies in flight, these plants have certain medicinal purposes too. The leaves are sometimes used as a topical treatment for healing bone fractures, and the whole plant can be used for treating snake bites and tuberculosis. Once native to the East Indies, these perennial plants are widespread throughout tropical regions. Number 18. Clamshell Orchid in Belize, this plant is also known as the Black Orchid and is the country's national flower. The clamshell name refers to pseudobulbs with a hood-like shape that grow from the plant. In addition to Central America, these plants are found from the West Indies to Southern Florida. In that state, there's a rare variety that can self-fertilize and doesn't rely on pollinators. Number 17. Monkey Body Orchid We'll have another simian-like flower coming up in a later segment. But this one gets its common name due to its lobed lip structure, which has the appearance of a monkey's body. They have a wide range from Central and Southern Europe to Iran and Northern Africa. Researchers note that when it was first discovered in 1779, they occurred fairly often within their range. But the flowers have become increasingly difficult to find since the 1920s. Number 16. The Orchid this hardy flower not only looks like the insect, it also mimics a female bee in order to attract males. The male is so deceived by the flower's scent and appearance that it tries to mate with the plant. When that happens, the male transfers pollen to the orchid. Experts say bee orchids provide unique examples of floral mimicry and sexually deceptive pollination. They're widespread across North Africa, the Middle East and Central and Southern Europe. Experts say that the plant's unique relationship with bees mainly occurs in the Mediterranean region. In northern areas, the orchids are self-pollinated. Number 15. Dove Orchid Did you know this orchid has been Panama's national flower since 1936? Its name is inspired by the flower's well-defined dove shape. They're also known as flowers of the Holy Spirit, or Holy Ghost Orchids. Given the spiritual connections, maybe it's surprising to learn that the dove orchid exudes a fragrance similar to beer. The flowers are found from Central to Northern South America, but their rare beauty is as much a blessing as it is a curse. So many traffickers have removed the orchids that they're threatened with extinction. Number 14. Fly Orchid This one is similar to the bee orchid that we mentioned earlier. Both plants belong to the same family and both use floral mimicry and sexually deceptive pollination to reproduce. While this species resembles flies, it uses a scent similar to female pheromones that attracts two species of male wasps. Pollination occurs when the insects attempt to mate with the plants. Experts say that around 10,000 seeds are produced from each pollinated orchid, so the species is very widespread. They're found as far north as Finland and Scandinavia, and as far south as Spain and Greece. Number 13. Kangaroo Paw The very name of this plant should give you an idea of where it grows. Endemic to Western Australia, it produces flowers that are thought to resemble the paws of kangaroos. The appearance of six claw-like structures is created by tubular flowers that are covered with dense hairs. Did you know that Western Australia adopted the red and green kangaroo paw as a state emblem in 1960? The perennial plant has since been developed in other countries, including Israel, Japan, and the US. Number 12, Bird of Paradise Flower. If you're talking about animals, then birds of paradise are usually found in Eastern Australia and New Guinea. But if you're talking about perennial plants, they're native to South Africa. Five species are found there, and their common name is inspired by the resemblance to their avian namesake. The larger species can grow nearly 33 feet, 10 meters tall, with blue and white flowers. They're pollinated by small sunbirds that receive pollen while they perch on the flowers. Once the bird's feet are covered in it, they deposit the pollen as they visit other flowers. 
Number 11, Skull Orchids. This plant belongs to a genus that contains more than 500 species, but this one may have the most sinister appearance of the lot. It's often called a skull flower due to the look of its deep set lobes. But from another angle, many people can see a resemblance to a certain Lord of the Sith. So it's also called the Darth Vader flower. Although it may appear sinister, the plant's large eyes help it to survive. The flower uses a powerful scent to attract insect pollinators. Once they arrive, insects fly through those openings, which have sticky hairs covered in pollen. The unusual orchids are found in humid regions of South America, including Brazil and El Salvador. Number 10, Donkey Orchids. Endemic to Australia, this is a genus of flowering plants comprised of more than 60 species. The ear-like petals invite the comparison to donkeys and all species exhibit that trait. Although they show up in all Australian states, these flowers have never been found in the Northern Territory. While they're coloured like flowers that attract pollinating insects like bees, experts say they don't produce nectar and most of them produce no scent. Number 9. Lizard Orchids There are two species of this flower that occur in areas of Europe including Italy, Croatia, Czech Republic and Austria. They can reach heights of about 45 inches, 115 centimetres, with leaves up to 20 centimetres long. Thanks to the shape and colour of their leaves, these plants are called lizard orchids. If that's not unusual enough, they also produce a goat-like smell. Did you know these rare flowers are protected in Germany and in the United Kingdom? Number 8. Moth Orchid There are around 70 species of these orchids that occur throughout the Philippines and Indonesia, and from India to Australia. When viewed up close, they bear a resemblance to a flying moth. Horticulturalists say this flower is a popular choice as a houseplant. Because they're relatively easy to grow, they're often recommended for beginners. Number 7. Cobra Lily These plants get their common name due to their resemblance to the snake rearing to strike. Along with the serpentine shape of its tubular leaves, this plant also has a forked leaf that looks like a cobra's fangs. Even though it doesn't appear so, these are a rare species of pitcher plant found in Northern California and Oregon that grow in cold mountain streams. Experts say these pitcher plants are a rare species and there's still a lot to be learned about them. Number 6. Swaddled Babies Orchids These large, fragrant flowers can measure 10 centimetres across, 4 inches, and are found in the Colombian Andes of South America. An opening in the flower's upper interior parts has a shape that is often perceived as a swaddled baby, hence the common name. Along with the unusual look, these flowers also have an unusual pollination mechanism. Pollen is stored in a column within the plant. When a pollinating insect enters to drink nectar, it is shoved against the column to complete the process. Botanists say the flowers can exude a delicate, spicy aroma and have long-lasting blooms. Number 5. Hot Lips Flowers this one is also known as the Kissing Plant or Mick Jagger Plant, in addition to a few other names that we can't mention here. But whatever you want to call it, it undeniably resembles a pair of puckered up human lips. The bracts, or modified leaves, which resemble the bright red lips, will eventually spread open to let the plant's flowers emerge. The unusual shape is said to attract pollinators like butterflies and hummingbirds. They're found in the rainforests of several Central and South American countries, including Panama and Costa Rica. What name would you give it? Number 4. Black Bat Flower If Batman was into botany, maybe he'd choose this flower. It is found throughout tropical regions of India, Thailand and East Asia. These flowering plants have several unusual features. They display leaves that have a purplish-black coloration, which have a shape reminiscent of bat wings. The long black stems can reach about 28 inches long, 71 centimetres, and spread 12 inches, 30 centimetres across. All of that gives the plant the appearance of a flying mammal flapping its wings. In addition to black, certain species of this bizarre flower can occur in brown, green or maroon. There's even a species that's called the white bat flower due to its appearance. Did you know these flowers belong to the same family as vegetable yams? Number 3. White Egret Orchid Also known as fringed orchids, there's no mistaking the bird-like shape. Found throughout Japan, China and Russia, it's called Sajiso, where it's the official flower of a subdivision in Tokyo. They usually occur on the slopes of mountainous areas, where many egret birds also live. 
Unfortunately, experts say these orchids are in decline due to habitat destruction. Number 2. Monkey Face Orchid Its scientific name is almost as intriguing as the plant itself. Dracula simia is one of 118 species that belong to the orchid genus Dracula or Drac. The name literally means little dragon and is a reference to the fictional Count Dracula. They get their name because some species have a blood red coloration and display long spurs growing from the blossoms which resemble vampire fangs. But as you can see, the orchid also resembles a monkey's face. They're found in mountainous regions of Ecuador, Peru and Colombia where they bloom all year round. In addition to their unusual appearance, these flowers also smell like ripe oranges. If you put this one together with the monkey body orchid from our earlier segment, would you get a complete floral monkey? Number 1. Large Duck Orchid This small flower occurs throughout southern and eastern Australia in the eucalyptus woodlands of coastal or swampy regions. They grow in the wild and have an uncanny resemblance to a duck that's in mid-flight or about to make a landing. According to botanists, the plant is very attractive to flies which pollinate it. While it was formally described in 1810, it was actually discovered seven years earlier at the site now occupied by the Sydney Opera House. Did you know that the orchid was featured on an Australian postage stamp in 1986? <laughs>